This is a Decker boiler. Three and a half million BTUs on a greenhouse in southern BC. It runs on wood pellets. So, uh, Got your is, controls here. This is the new the bottom is the ash, uh, just oh, access yeah. door. The combustion uh, chamber is there. The, the pellets feed from below and come out over a kind of a conical area where the air is introduced. Low water cutoff. Yeah, and the boiler safety valve. Looks like you got a exhaust damper to cut your standby losses down. And they've got, uh, looks like they got some things to remove uh, ash or to, to get off some of the fire tubes. They have a large heat exchanger, kind of a combination, it's a two-pass heat exchanger. When you get the exhaust, uh, comes out through that, looks like Schedule 10 stainless pipe goes down through two passes in the fire tubes so this preheats the water coming in and it also serves as a uh, little cyclone and get what little ash you got they've been having very good quality uh, pellets so they have probably less than half percent ash so there's your return piping goes through the heat exchanger goes uh, in the in the rear of the boiler comes out and then it goes uh, it goes into the boiler and then it comes out here and there's your supply to go to the greenhouse so supply and return piping six inches schedule 40 carbon steel the low water cutoff and then you got this is your exhaust uh, exhaust blower and that's you know uh, just like about eight inch schedule 10 or it's actually 10 inch schedule 10 stainless 11 gauge 304 stainless now this is this is the, the combustion air blower this started up here it, this uh, fire just started up so the auger starts feeding the, uh, the uh, pellets from the bottom, comes up in the center, and you've got a fan uh, blowing air through a kind of a, a cone shaped affair with some slots and radially on the side. Uh -huh. Isn't really only a so then we walk out here to the bin. This is a sixty ton bin. It's got two three foot wide sections and vertical or three foot wide vertical sections this bolt up thing it's got a 45 degree cone and they have long enough legs so the hopper can uh, there's enough room to accommodate all the machinery here here's the uh, there's the drive for the auger, the feed auger. 